Today you're going to learn how to do this animation with Geometry Nodes in Blender. So let's see. Let's hit the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes, let's hide this panel, this one, let's get a new profile, drag this and add a curve line. We are going to start with a curve line because I want to add some cycles to this line. So let's use instance on points. And now I want cycles, so curve cycle. Now we have two because this line has two points and we need to add more points. So let's add resample curve. And now we have 10 points. Here you can control the number of points. So we have 10 cycles. Perfect. Now I want to add more resolution. So let's increase this. And now what I want is to stack them together in the same point. Because later I want to rotate them from the same point. So what I have to do is to decrease this. I'm going to select 0. So now we have 10 cycles here. OK, perfect. Now, if you want to rotate this, we have to play with that. We can rotate in this axis, in this axis, or this axis. And basically, it's this one. So what I want is to rotate them in the three axes. So I'm going to use math node, and with that node, control the three axes. So now, if I play with this, all the rings are rotating in the three axes. Perfect. However, I don't want all of them rotating together because we cannot see the 10 rings. So we need to do some trick here. What we're going to do is to use index. Why index? Because every ring has a number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we use this number and connect it here, we are saying every ring will have a different star rotation. So let's see it. Let's connect it here. And now we can see all the rings with different rotations. So basically, the first ring will be number 0. It will have 0 in the 3 axis rotation. The second one will be the number 1. So we have one value of rotation in the 3 axis, and etc. with the other rings. OK, you get it there. Now if you want, you can animate this. Just playing with that, as you can see. But first of all, let's add some mesh. So curve to mesh. So we can see the cycles later. Let's add curve cycle and let's decrease this. Something like that, more or less. However, we have a problem. They are overlapping, as you can see. So I don't want that. So let's try to scale them. So here we have two solutions. The first one is to give a random value for every ring. So if here we add random, we have this. By the way, I'm not going to use this. I want to use the normal random value, the one that is float. So it's better. And now we have this. Every ring has a different scale based in maximum 1 and minimum 0. So we can define the minimum and the maximum. OK, this one solution. But I don't want to give random scales because sometimes they don't have the same distance. So what I'm going to do is to use the same logic that we did before. Use index. So if we connect index to scale, we are going to do the same like rotation. Every ring will have a different scale based in their number. So let's connect it. And now we have this, where the first ring, we cannot see it because the first ring is 0. So 0 in a scale in the three axis means that we cannot see it disappear. But the second one have one of value. So this one is the second one. This is one of a scale. This is two of a scale. And later we have three, four, etc. And more or less, they have the same distance. They have one value of a scale from each other, but with different rotation. Because remember, we have here the rotation. So now we can animate this. If you want to decrease the difference, what you can do is to add here a multiply. So select multiply. And if you increase this number, you can make it bigger or smaller. And now, if you want to animate this, we only have to play with that. Let's add some color. So let's go here. 
I'm going to add some material. Set material. Let's select the default material. And let's go to material. And I'm going to make it glow. So emission. Let's increase this. Let's go here to see the bloom. And what I want is a different color. For example, I want, I don't know, pink, something like that. Okay. So now I'm going to hide everything else. We have this. And what I want is to make a loop. So I want to rotate them, but I want to make a loop. So when the video finish, it starts again and no one notice the cut. So to do this, how we can do it? How we know which value is to get the same point from the start to the end? There is two solutions. Now we are working with radians. If you follow the channel, maybe you watch the tutorial about radians. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'm going to explain you right now. So to make a full cycle, we need to make two pi. So let's start in zero, okay? Try to see how it looks now. And if we add two plus pi, look, I'm going to press intro and you will see that this doesn't change the position. Did you notice that? However, we apply some rotations. So this number means that it's the perfect loop. So one thing you can do is to start from zero at a keyframe and for example, go to the end and add two pi, or tau is the same. And now insert a keyframe. Let's select this to see the keyframes and press T linear. And now if we press play, we have this cool animation. And you will see here when it's at the end, we don't see any cut. Look, three, two, one, nothing happened. Did you see? Okay, perfect. The other solution, if you get lost with radians, let's delay these keyframes, is to convert this to degrees. So this solution is to add a math node and select to degrees. No, sorry, to radians. So now this works in degrees, it says here, but any value we insert here is going to convert in radians. So you don't need to worry about which number is. So now one full cycle, which number is 360. So let's try again. Let's create a keyframe. Not here, sorry. Let's go at the beginning. It's a keyframe. Let's go at the end. And remember, now we're working with degrees. So one full cycle, 360. And let's create another keyframe. And I'm going to press T to make the movement linear. So now it's the same. So use the one that you prefer, but I like to show you both. And now let's see, there is any cut. So this is how we create this animation. And remember, if you want now, you can add more or less rings. So if you want more, you can add more and 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 more. If you don't want to make it glow, another thing you can do, I'm going to select 15, for example. Let's come back to this view. If you don't want them to be like a cycle, what you can do is delete this and select quadrilateral. And now, let's decrease this, of course, if not. We can make it look, for example, something like that. But to make it look better, you need to add shade smooth. And disable this. And now we have this type of rings, like a square. If you want more resolution, remember, we have to go here and increase the resolution. So if you prefer this animation, you can do it with the quadrilateral. And if not, you can use the other one. So I hope you learned something new. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.